Hello and welcome back. For a busy mom and a homemaker, weekends are more busy days as compared to weekdays. The reason for that is we become little lazy in doing day-to-day -day work and there is a wish to make something special for the family and at the same time we can grocery shopping, taking kids somewhere outside is also added to it. For breakfast today I thought of preparing something similar to our traditional breakfast which we enjoy with a cup of tea. I am preparing it with some innovative idea which I learned from my mother-in-law. I kept a glass of water for boiling into a cooker. In a large bowl, I am taking 2-3 to three cups of rice powder. I am using the rice powder from the market. Now adding grated coconut. You can add coconut as much as you want. Now some salt, some saffron and some jaggery. Mix nicely everything. My daughter also wanted to see what I am cooking so I make her sit on my platform and I keep preparing my breakfast. Sprinkle some water and mix. Not required much water. We need water to make the mixture little wet so that extreme dryness goes away. This is the consistency of the mixture. Here I have a puttu maker. I will add the mixture into it and close the lid and put on the top of the cooker in the place of whistle. While adding the mixture into the pot, no need to press the mixture. Just let it be as it is. So my pitha will be ready in no time. You can see steam is coming out of the puttu maker. It will take just 5 to 8 minutes in high flame. My tea is also getting ready. Now I will take it out into a plate. And it looks really perfect. This pitha recipe goes really well with a hot cup of tea. After breakfast is done, I went out to get some essential purchases. It took me around 45 minutes. After coming back, it's time for lunch preparation. Pihu is taking her nap and I now free to prepare my lunch. Here I have some vegetables for the recipe. Today's special preparation is pav bhaji. My first pav bhaji experience was with one of my friend's house who is from Mumbai. Before that I never tasted. After that I liked it so much that I learn to cook it myself when i eat pav bhaji outside i always feel that somewhere masalas and butter and oils are more so i always prepare it at home so that i can control the ingredients as per my requirement i took all the vegetables and cut it into cubes now I am adding all the vegetables to pressure cooker and add some salt and butter. The piece of butter here will enhance the flavor of the vegetables. Now water I have added very less like half cup of water and now I will cook until tree whistle. Now next part is to prepare for the tarka. 
to fasten up the process i chop onions into electronic chopper after onion i chop tomatoes as well I will use half of one large capsicum. Now I will finally chop the capsicum also. Now in a karai add some butter and oil. As it heat up little add chopped onion cook for a minute after that add tomatoes also mix nicely Here is our vegetables they are cooked nicely i will take them out into a bowl i will mash them with my masher Now I am going to add turmeric powder and some coriander powder to my tadka and a very less amount of pav bhaji masala as it is little spicy I have to take out little bhaji out for my daughter so I have added less pav bhaji masala add chopped capsicum as well and mix after adding capsicum cook for 5 to 6 minutes in medium flame now i am adding the water where i have boiled the vegetables add all the mashed vegetables and mix them nicely adding some water to adjust the consistency after taking out some amount of bhaji for my daughter i am adding more pav bhaji masala to it i have added some garam masala as well and mix it nicely now it's time to feed my daughter after my daughter is well fed i am ready to serve our plates Before plating I have added some Kashmiri chili powder and some chopped coriander leaves Pav is also getting ready with lot of butter in it Lunch preparation is done. I will plate it with some chopped onion and a piece of lemon. It was super super tasty and satisfied our tummy. After lunch, we went out for some shopping and after coming back, I prepared a quick dinner for Bihu. Her quick dinner recipe is very simple. I will make vegetable chilla with dosa batter that I prepared at home. This is my dosa batter which is filled with lots and lots of vegetables and some green leaves also. To prepare it, add some ghee to my tawa and will add dosa batter and spread it close the lid and keep the flame on medium until top part is cooked you can see top part of the chilla is getting dry now i will add some ghee on top also and 
flip to other side as well and cook it nicely and for us after having such a heavy lunch dinner is a big no no for me where i prepared some salad for ranjan while preparing her dinner i quickly set up the kitchen also Pihu liked her chilla so much that she end up eating one more. After feeding her well, I prepared a hot cup of water for me and this was the dinner for me. This was my today's vlog. Hope you enjoy my vlog. If you like my vlog, please let me know in comment section below and for some daily life updates, please follow my Instagram. See you in my next vlog. Till then, bye bye and take care.